Hello, guys. Good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you today, Carlos? I am very fine, thanks. Excellent. I'm happy you are fine. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Uh, I have, I have got. You are good. Are you good? Yeah, bastante. Uh, can you repeat, please? I couldn't listen well. How was your day today? How was your day? This day is very complicated for me. Why? What happened? I have a lot of work and this day is not sufficient. How do you say sufficient? Enough. Enough. The day is not enough for yeah, and you, make everything. Oh, you didn't have you didn't have enough time to complete your work today. Yes. Ah, okay. Hello, Glisset. Hello, teacher. How are you today? <laughs> tired? Are you tired today? Yes. 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 I was stressed. Oh, you're stressful. Yes. Pero ya mañana es viernes. Yes, tomorrow is Friday, so yes, don't worry. Yes. And after tomorrow, we're going to have a weekend. So you are going to rest a little bit. Van a descansar un poquito. Hello, Floridalia. Good evening. How are you today? Hello. Hello, teacher. Ah, okay, he's writing on the chat. Probably he has some problem with the microphone. Okay, we're going to start the class in a minute. Just we're waiting for your classmate. Uh, ojalá no se hayan quedado viendo la selecta. <laughs> <laughs> and Lizette say, I don't like soccer. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, I don't sí care gusta, about... Sí me gusta, pero la selecta, lamentablemente, pues... No, ah. pero, bueno. But we are excited <laughs> today. We are excited today, right? We are waiting for a good presentation of our selecta. Mm. <laughs> Michelle is the reina. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Florida. Leo. Y no veo la selecta tampoco. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, what happened with your classmate today? It is a little bit late. Hi, Roberto. And here is Janet. Hello, Janet. Good evening. I have a call. I have a call. Oh, I'm sorry. I hope you recover soon. Espero que pronto esté bien. Right? You're going to get, get well soon. So just rest a lot. Take some cold pills eh, as chicken soap. ¿Qué más le podemos recomendar? Comendar a Remberto que tome para su gripe, su resfriado. What advice do you have for a call? Hot soap chicken. Okay. Okay, so let's start with today's class, right? Uh, thank you for your punctuality. So welcome again to this, that is your English class. 
So do you have any question about the platform? Any question about the platform? Alguna pregunta acerca de la plataforma? Any extra, any difficult exercise? Uh, what about the midterm? ¿Cómo estamos con el midterm exam? Have you already complete that part? ¿Ya completaron esa parte? Yes. Yes, let's say yes. yes. Uh, what about you, Flor, Carlos, Roxana, Remberto, and Janet? I finished the job. Oh, you have already yes, finished. I, I take the test of the section three today and I oh. finished this section. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Congratulations, Janet. Congratulations, Lisette. And Carlos, too. Congratulations. Uh, hello, Mateo. Good evening. Uh, let's see, Florida said, I finished the quiz. I finished the midterm test. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Congratulations, Roxana. Thank you. Bueno, si aún no lo han hecho, ¿verdad? Uh, please do it, do it. Uh, and as soon as you finish the midterm test, you can start with section number four and then section number five and you are going to be done. Y usted ya va a estar solvente de la plataforma. So, do it. So, let's start with today's class, right? Yesterday, we were talking about some city places. Estuvimos hablando de las preposiciones de lugar, prepositional place too. Do you remember about some places? ¿De qué lugares se recuerdan? De los que vimos ayer. The places that we studied yesterday. George, hospital. Hospital is one, excellent. Bank. Hospital, bank. Which other one? Police station. Police station. Police station. How do you say iglesia? Church. Church. How do you say centro comercial? Thank you, Flor. Mall. 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 Excellent. How do you say supermercado? Supermarket. 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 Excellent. How do you say alcaldía o ayuntamiento? Do you remember City that? City Hall. City Hall. City Hall, yes. How do you say calle in English? Street. Street. Street, okay. Street. How do you say avenida? How do you say avenida in English? Avenida. 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 Okay. And what about the preposition of place? Which preposition do you remember? On. Oh. On. on, on is Next one. To. Next to is another across one. Across from. In front across of, from. across from. Between. 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 In between. Oh, behind is another one. Thank you, Floridalia. Okay, excellent. So today we're going to study the next, the next topic and it is giving direction. And also we are going to see the instruction to take the meter exam, just in case you haven't taken it yet. So let me know please if you can see my screen. Yes, I can see the, your screen. Okay, thank you, Carlos. So giving direction and midterm exam, that is the topic for today. So this is your class number eight. And let's start with this. To ask for a direction, you can use these two questions. How do I get to? Como llego a ver? How do I get to? How do I get to the hospital? How do I get to the church? How do I get to the gas station? How do I get to the police station? How do I get to, to the hospital? And also you can use the other equation, which is how can I get to? How can I get to? 
So you have to question, how do I get to plus the place? How can I get to plus the place? If you want to be more polite, you say, can you tell me how do I get to the supermarket? Can you tell me how can I get to the mall? So we use this, this, this question para preguntar, ¿cómo puedo llegar a? Y ahí en la línea escribe el lugar. So here are some possible answers. Aquí están algunas posibles respuestas. Walk, walk up, go up, walk down, go down, turn left on, turn right on, on the right, on the left, or go straight on. You can use these phrases to give direction. So let's see, walk up, camine, ¿verdad? Suba, go up, vaya, vaya, suba en esta calle. Walk down, baje por esta calle. Go down the main street. Camine, ¿verdad? A para abajo en esta calle. Turn left on. Gire, gire, ¿verdad? ¿A qué? What is left? ¿Qué mano es left? Eh, ¿Qué mano es right? Left, left. izquierda. Ok, left, izquierda, and right, derecha. So, turn left, turn left, eh, turn right on, gire, ¿verdad? Gire a la, gire a la izquierda, gire a la derecha. On the left, you can also say on the left, on the right. A la izquierda, usted va a ver el edificio, right? You are going to see the, the building on the right. A la, a la, sorry, esa fue a la derecha. A la izquierda usted va a ver el restaurante. You can see the restaurant on the left. A la izquierda. And go straight on significa vaya ser recto. Vaya ser recto. Go straight on. Let's see this in a conversation. Look at this. ¿Alguna vez se han perdido en algún lugar? In a city. ¿Quién ya ha andado perdido? ¿Nobody? Yes. 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 ¿Cuando estaban pequeños no se perdieron en el supermarket? Yes. Yes. <laughs> More than once o just once. Más just una... once. Ah, just once. Ok. Una vez nada más. So, so look at this. This is a tourist and this is a woman. Excuse me, man. Can you help me? How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? Just walk out Fifth Avenue to 50th Street. St. Patrick is on the right. Solo suba por la avenida número. What is Fifth? Fifth? Do you remember? Okay. Suba por la quinta avenida hasta la 50th. Strip. Hasta la calle número. 50. 50. Ok. No. 50. De St. Patrick's. It's on the right. ¿De qué lado está la catedral de San Patricio? St. Patrick's Cathedral. A la, a la derecha. derecha. It's on the right. Is it near Rockefeller Center? Is it near Rockefeller Center? Está cerca del centro Rockefeller. Yes, it's right across from Rockefeller Center. Y está cruzando la calle. Thank you. And where is the Empire State Building? ¿Y dónde está el edificio Empire State? Is it far from here? ¿Está lejos de aquí? It's right behind you. Just turn around and look at. Está justo atrás de ti. Solo de la vuelta. Y obsérvalo. So that is the conversation. And here we are using this, these phrases. How do I get to St. Patrick's Cathedral? ¿Cómo llego? ¿Cómo llego a la Catedral de San Patricio? Y acá está la dirección. Just walk out Fifth Avenue to Fifth Street. Walk up, suba, camine para arriba, suba. 
Uh, on the right, sería a la derecha. We are going to see some other example in this map. Which places, uh, can you read the places that we can see in this map? Which places can you see? Museum. Uh, the green, the green one. Which places are in green? Uh, parking lot, park. Parking lot, park. Museum. Museum. And this one is the restaurant. Uh, restaurant. In orange, in orange, which places can you see in orange? Library, bank, bank, bank. Bank, bakery, okay. Bank. Um, what about in blue? Inform information. information office. Information office, thank you. In light blue, in light blue, what places can you see in light blue? Gas station. Gas station, and also? How do you, how do you pronounce this? Gray. Um, bueno, ah, bueno, hay alguien que atiende muy alta la televisión y se escucha. Thank you. So, Jewelry, Jewelry es la joyería, ¿verdad? The train station, the museum. So, now look at this example. Vamos a leer esta dirección y vamos a encontrar el lugar. ¿Cuál es el lugar correcto? Si partimos de donde está la X roja, the red X, this point, uh, it says walk along Oxford Street. Walk along es camine recto en la calle Oxford. Walk along Oxford Street, it's next to the Jewelry, opposite the train station. ¿Cuál es el lugar correcto? A, B, or C. Is it the museum? Is it the park? Or is it the car park? Or the parking lot? Read the direction. It says walk along Oxford Street. Park. Yep. It's the park. It's the park. You say the park. Any other opinion? Is Carlos right? Carlos, you correct? Okay, it says walk along Oxford Street. It's next to the Jewelry. Entonces, vamos acá. Walking along. So, it says next to. Uh, pasamos la Jewelry, pasamos la joyería. Now it says it's opposite the train station. We are on the train station. And what is opposite? It's the, the park. Um, park. Ya park. estamos en el lugar, ¿verdad? So, Carlos, you are right. It's the park. Thank you. Vamos a borrar las líneas y veamos el siguiente ejemplo. Read this direction, please. Lea esta dirección, por favor. Turn right and then take the first strip on the left. It's on your right next to the hospital. What is the place? Is it the gas station? Is it the bank? Or is it the supermarket? Supermarket. 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 Okay. It says turn right and then take the first step. Okay. Vamos acá. Giramos a la derecha. Tomamos la primera calle. Acá. It's on your right next to the hospital. Ya estamos en el supermarket this, this is the correct answer and here was the park it's the park let's see the other one read this 
Meanwhile, I'm going to delete the lines. Okay, it says go along this strip, while past the train station, it's on your left, opposite the car park. What is the planes? Go along, it means by a recto, by a in esta calle, recto, go along this strip, while past the train, camine pasando de la, de la estación de tren, while past the train is station. Walk past the train station, it's on your left, opposite the car park. What is the place? Airport. It's the airport, right? Excellent. Then we start in this point and it says, go along, go along, go along, go along, pass. Past the train station, pasamos de la estación de tren, llegamos a este punto. Y nos dice la indicación, it's on your left, opposite the car park. Acá, llegamos acá, está a la izquierda, opuesto al parking lot. Ok, excelente. So, is, the answer is the airport. Very good job. Let's see the next one. It's the same map. So read this direction and tell me what is the place. Take the first, turning on the right. It's on your right between the tourist office, information, and the bank. What is the correct place? Take the first. Is it the restaurant? Okay, it says stay the first strip. So, esta es la primera calle que encontramos. Eh, turning on the right. Giramos a la derecha. Turning on the right. It's on your right between the tourist office and the bank. So, is the restaurant. Estaba fácil o difícil llegar a ese lugar? Yes, sir. It was easy. Okay, excellent. Let's see the other. Look at the direction. It says go straight on and take the second turning on the right. It's on the left, opposite the hospital. What is the place? Is it the park? Is it the supermarket? Is it the gas station? Go straight on, vaya recto, and take the second. Tome la segunda calle, take the second strip, turning on the right, girando a la derecha. It's on the left, opposite the hospital. Gaze, ga, gaze station? Yes, the gas station. Let's see it. Vamos a ver, we are in this point. It says, go straight on. Vamos, straight on, straight on. And take the second. We are in the second strip. And turn it on the right. Girando a la derecha. Okay. It's on the left. Está la izquierda. Opposite the hospital. This is our place. This is the place we are looking for. It's the gas station. So you're right. It's the gas station. Excellent. So the last one, look at the next exercise. Read the direction. And it says, take the first strip on your right. Take the next strip on the left. It's on the right next to the supermarket. What is the place? Hospital. Okay, excellent. It's the hospital. So let's see the path. Here we go. It says, stay the first. This is the first. 
strip on your right. Vamos a la derecha. Take the next street on the left. Llegamos a esta calle on the left. Vamos a la izquierda. It's on the right. Está a la derecha. Next to the supermarket. Here is the supermarket and here is the hospital. So in this way, we keep instruction. Utilizando las frases que vimos anteriormente. Do you have any question until this point? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? No question at the moment. Then let's continue with the next exercise. Okay, look at this. This is the map we studied yesterday. Here are some places of the city. And here are some examples. So it says, good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Y acá está la dirección. Bueno, walk on the First Avenue, turn right on Center Street, walk on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and the Second Avenue next to the hospital. Y entonces esa es la dirección. Vamos a marcarla con el saltador. So it says, walk on First Avenue. Estamos en el punto azul. In this one, walk in First Avenue. Vamos a caminar. So walk on, it says, caminamos acá. In the First Avenue. Then it says, turn right on Center Street. Llegamos a Center Street. A la derecha, right, right. Then it says the post office is in the corner of Center Street, que es la calle donde venimos, and the Second Avenue, next to the hospital. Y como ya vimos el hospital, then here is the post office. That's it. So the next one. Let's see the next example. And the next example says, I can't, I can't find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? No, it isn't. You are far of that place. How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street, turn right at Second Avenue, go until you reach Main Street. You will see Favorite Shoes Shop. Al's coffee shop is next to Favorite Shoes Shop. So, estamos en este punto. ¿Por qué lugares tenemos que pasar para llegar a Al's Coffee Shop? We are here in this point, in the red point. De acuerdo a la dirección, ¿por dónde tengo que pasar? Center Street. Center Street. Ok, it says, go straight on Center Street. Vámonos recto en Center Street. Then it says turn right. Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Vamos por acá a la derecha. Go until you reach Main Street. Llegamos hasta la Main Street. And it says you will see Favorite Shoes Shop. Vamos a ver esta tienda. ¿verdad? Favorite Shoes Shop. And Al's Coffee Shop is next to. So we will here and here, here and we are here. All's coffee shop. Is it difficult to give direction? Is difficult that direction is in English? But it's easy. Yes. It's, it's easy, right? Solo tenemos que aprendernos esas frases. So who wants to, who wants to practice this conversation? Who wants to practice the first conversation? Who wants to practice? Nobody wants to practice today? Just two, just two volunteers. Thank you, Evelyn and Evelyn and. Thank you, Evelyn and Melida Sarai. Thank you very much. Evelyn, you are going to be eight, and Sarai, you are going to be B. Thank you. 
You can start. Okay. Good morning. May I ask you for some help? Sure. Could you tell me how to get to the post office? Okay, walk on First Avenue, or ride on Center Street, walk, uh, walk on the on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue, next to the hospital. Hospital. Thank you. Thank you very much. Excellent. So walk on one block. The post office is in the corner of Center Street and Second Avenue. Excellent job. Thank you. Repeat the question, it says. Repeat the question. What question? Any other volunteer, please, to read the second, the second examples. Thank you, Lisette and Carlos. Thank you. So, Carlos, you are going to be A. Lisette, you are going to be B. You can start. Okay. I can find Al's coffee shop. Is it near here? No. It means you're far of that flight. How can I get there? Go straight on Center Street. To right at Second Avenue. Don't, until you reach Main Street, you will see favorite shoes, shoes. As coffee shop is next to the favorite shoes, too. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Now let's practice on the map. What about if I am in this point? Just a second. Okay, I am here. I am here in this strip and I want to go to the park. The park is here. So can you help me? How can I get to the park? How can I get to the park? Teacher, I have a question. What is your question? And what the meaning is go on until you reach Main Street? Oh, vaya recto hasta que llegue. <laughs> Hasta que llegue a la calle principal. O el, a esta calle, en la que se llama Main Street. Vaya a ser recto hasta que llegue a la calle que se llama Main Street. Gracias. Gracias. Ok. Don't mention it. So I am here. I am here near the post office. And I want to go to the park. But I don't know the way. No conozco el camino. So, how can I get there? Can you help me, please? Go straight on Second Avenue. Okay. Hasta donde? Después giro a donde? On the right. Turn on. On right oh. or, in, or left? Left. Okay, I'm walking here, uh, going straight, Second Avenue, en la acera porque me pueden atropellar. This, ya me pasé, vamos a borrar. Me dijo que girara a la izquierda o derecha. Left. Left. Left, okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, going straight here in Second Avenue. I turn on the left and then go out a movie theater. Yes, I can see the movie theater. And the part in front of the. Ah, no sé qué dice el edificio. This one is. Lucy. The, ah, Luff's department oh, store. Oh. This is the department oh. store. Ah, okay, then I can see the department store. Uh, I'm going to enter here. And you say that the park is in front of. Yeah. 
Okay. Thank you very much. Now I am in the party. Thank you. Okay. Now I am here. Acabo de tomar un café acá in Al's coffee shop with pan dulce. But now I need, I need to go to the gas station. I am running out of gas, so I need to go to the bus station to buy some gasoline. Can you help me? How can I get to that place? Can you help me, please? How can I get to the gas station? Go along on the second avenue and until get to Center Street and, and then uh, turn, turn left and, and go along. Okay. Eh, llegué hasta acá, pero todavía no veo la gas station. <laughs> ok. Um, I can't see the gas station. And you will see. Um, ¿Cómo se You will see. Ah, you will see the gas station. Uh, a la derecha, to the, to the right. Oh, the gas station is on the. Ah, the gas. You, you on will see the gas right. station on the right. Okay. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I'm buying some gasoline. Now I have gasoline and I want to go to the movie theater. How can I get there? Can you help me, please? Now I want to see a movie. How can I get, how can I get to the movie theater? Can you help me please? I am here in the gas station and I want to see a movie, the Avengers movie. So how can I get there? Can you help me please? I'm lost, help me. It is, it is almost you can, time. You can, uh, walk on First Avenue. Okay. And turn. Right. Okay, I'm going to turn right here on First Avenue. Ahora uh, estoy en First Avenue. Now where where I have in, to go? In front, in front of the park. Turn. Right and Main Street. Okay, now I hear you say it is in front of the park. In front of the park. Is it here? Am I in the right way? Estoy en el camino correcto? Yes. Um, movie theater is a the movie theater place. is okay I'm here on First Avenue now help me help me please <laughs> ya va la meta la película help me turn left Main Street turn left on Main Street thank you Go astray. Yes, I'm going astray. Um, City Bank. I uh, can see. On the City Bank. Yes, I am in front of the City Bank. I am here. Uh, movie theater. Uh, movie theater. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, the movie theater in front of the City Bank. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Llegué a tiempo de ver los créditos de la película. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, you did a great job helping me. Now, do you have any question about this topic? 
Do you have any question? No more no. question. No? Okay, then let's remember, right? Some phrases we use to give direction and some of them are the next one. Here we go. Walk along, that is one. Walk along, eh, get, pre use preposition of place para dar referencias, ¿verdad? Next to, opposite is another one. So turn right, gire a la derecha. And the first street, la primera calle que encuentre, gire a la izquierda, on the left. Then on your right, a su derecha. Next to is another preposition of play that we use to give the direction. Go alone is another one. Go alone. And let's see. Wall past. Wall past. Camine pasando de algún lugar, ¿verdad? de referencia. En este caso, wall past the train station. Teacher, go alone. Go alone. Go alone. Uh, vaya por esta calle, ¿verdad? Go alone, vaya derecho. Go alone this strip. Si le dicen go alone Queen Street, entonces usted viene acá caminando. Go alone. Acá. Y acá ya tiene que decirle si va a girar a la on the left or on the right. Para ubicarse en on the right, para acá. Llega a Oxford Strip. Y acá otra vez, ¿verdad? Si es para la izquierda o es para la derecha. On the right, on the left. Sería parecido a go and stride. Yes, go alone. You can use go and stride. Vaya a ser recto. También um, go on, ¿verdad? Go on. Go on Queen Strip. Entonces go on. I going on Queen Strip. Go on, go strike, go along. You can use that to say, váyase recto. Camine recto. Hasta darle otro punto de referencia. Turn on right, turn on left. Between es otra preposición de lugar. Between que utilizamos. Go strike on. Take the second. Turning on the right. It's on the left. Opposite is another one. So you say you don't have question or do you have any question? Preguntas? Janet, tell me, what is your question? Janet, what is your question? No, no question. Ah, okay, I'm sorry. I can see your hand up. Okay, if you don't have any question, let's discuss a little bit about the midterm exam. That is an important part of the evaluation on the platform. And I wanna know if you have any question about this. Chance a second. And let me know if you can see my screen, please. I can see. Thank you. So this is the, the midterm. It has five, five questions. It has five sections and five exercise to answer. And the first one is a listening. This is a listening part. So in this part, listen to the conversation and check the correct answer. Did you have any problem with this part? Do you have any problem solving this part? Or you haven't done it yet? No problem. No problem. Okay, then let's see. In this part, we're going to mark here the answer. We are going to play this and we are going to listen and answer. So the other part is to match the question with the answer. Match the question with the answer. And instruction is the same. Right? Match the question with the answer. Vamos a emparejar, ¿verdad? We are going to put together the equation and the answer. 
So are we going to do where this weekend, for example? And you say, yes, I am. I am going to go swimming. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. No, we're not. We are going to relax. We are going to relax. So that is the first. That is what you have to do in this part. No problem with this part. No questions. No. No question. No question. Then let's go with this. WH question to complete the conversation. Do you remember the WH question? Which are they? Which are the WH word question? Can you tell me then, please? What? Yes, what? Which other one? Where? Where? Thank How? you. How is another one? What, where, how? Which other one? Can you help me? Why, which? Why and which? Thank you. How many? How many? That is another one. How many? It is missing one important. The one that asks for time, what is it? We had what, where, how, why, which, how many? Which one is missing? It is an important one to ask for time. Do you remember that question? I can see in the chat. Oh, here it is in the chat. Thank you, Flor. Then what is when? 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 Okay, excellent. When? Uh, let's go with the other part. So no question in this part, no problem. Select the W question to complete the conversation. Tiene que seleccionar, ¿verdad? La pregunta correcta para completar la conversación. So you have to read the answer and you have to choose the question in this part. Let's go with the next one. So complete the conversation. Complete the conversation. Select the correct word. Tiene que ir seleccionando, ¿verdad? La palabra correcta. I have a headache. That is the first one. I have a headache. Okay, this pills. So you have to choose the correct word or the correct verb to complete this conversation. This is my conversation. No problem at this part? No problem. No problem, okay. Uh, do you remember the illnesses? Do you remember some illnesses? Which one do you remember? ¿Se acuerdan de las enfermedades? ¿De cuáles se acuerdan? Tell me, please. Bacash. Okay, backache, backache. Homesick. Homesick, homesick. Rice fever. Rice fever, thank you, rice fever. Oh. Stomachache. Stomachache. Stomachache, okay, stomachache, things. Any Flu. Other? The flu. Broken arm. Okay, a broken arm. Thank you. Sore shoulder. shoulder. Sore shoulder. Diarrhea. Mm -hmm. Diarrhea. Probably the flu, the flu. A sore throat. Sore throat. Okay, sore throat. So Floridalia says cold and headache. Thank you, Flor. Sore and throat. Can you please repeat the last one? And a Dolor de oído. Oh, ear edge. Ear ah. edge. Ear edge. Okay. Excellent. So we're tuning to this, right? And what is the question to ask to other people if they said, I'm sick, I'm bad, I'm tired, I'm exhausted? What is the question? How do you feel? 
How do you feel? That is when. How do you feel? Y si la persona responde, I feel terrible. I feel horrible. What's the matter? Okay, thank you. What's the matter? In the other option, what's the matter in? What's wrong? In what's wrong, thank you. So you are going to use that vocabulary in this part. And finally, we have this, this reading. Read the article, instruction. Read the article, then select the correct home remedy for each condition. And you have here this, right? This reading part. So a cold, what can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon juice, and milk. What do you do? If you have a cold, what do you do? What do you do? Si se refrian, ¿qué hacen? What do you use to do? When you have a cold, ¿qué hace usualmente cuando tiene un resfriado? I drink a tea. Uh, I drink hot tea. Don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. I don't eat ice cream. Don't eat ice cream. Any other? Do you know some remedies for a cold? It's hot chicken syrup. Cold syrup, okay, cold syrup. Any other? Syrup. Drink the aspirin. Drink an aspirin oh. for, a, for a cold aspirin. Yes. Don't, you, don't you take some tapsim? Uh, what is the name of the other one? That is a tea. I don't remember the name in this moment. Uh, let's go a coat. Do you have about coat? Drink warm tea or taste some honey. This can make your throat feel better. What do you do when you have a coat? Do you have any remedy to cure a cold? Do you know any remedy? ¿Conoce algún remedio para curar la tos? Drink the tea. Drink a tea, okay. Take a cold syrup. Drink a cold syrup. ¿Qué pastillas usa para una tos? No pills. Un remedio oh. casero, lemon con miel, ¿cómo dice miel? Oh, honey, honey and lemon. Honey, honey and lemon. Honey and lemon. Okay. Uh, ginger, anybody eat ginger when ah, you have a cold? Ginger. Gingibre. Yes, ginger. Uh, some people use to chop, so to chop ginger. Mastican, eso, uh -huh. ginger, jengibre. And chamomile too, chamomile, do you know chamomile? No. Té de manzanilla, chamomile tea. Then let's see for a headache. Do you know a remedy for a headache? Let's listen what it says here. What about a headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splice your face with cold water. You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Um, do you agree with this? If you put your hand in hot water, this is going to help you with your headache. What do you think about that? Stay at home. It could be. Podría ser posible. Okay, let's continue. Insomnia. Insomnia, problem to sleep. Can't sleep at night. Drink a large glass of warm milk or take a very warm bath. That are some remedies for insomnia. So do you have any word here, any new word in this part? Alguna palabra que usted no conozca en este reading, in this reading part? Yes. Which one, for no. example? Donde dice, this can make your throat feel better? Throat, guess. 
in this part? Yes. Just give me a second. You say this word. Yes. Throat is la garganta, ¿verdad? Okay. Sore throat, sore throat is infección en la garganta. Throat is this part. So if you take some honey, this can make your throat feel better. Si toma un poco de miel, usted va a sentir mejor su garganta. Any other new word? ¿Alguna otra palabra? No, no. Then this question, do home remedies, do home remedies really work? What do you think about this? Do home remedies really work? That question is for you. Do home remedies really work? ¿De verdad funcionan los remedios caseros? What do you think? Sometimes. Sometimes? Okay. Some of them probably yes, right? Carlos, what is your opinion? Uh, I guess the health remedies help to feel good, to feel better. Ah, okay. Excellent. So home remedies help you to feel better. Things. Okay, so many people say yes, try these simple home remedies. Bueno, entonces de esta lectura, de esta lectura, ¿verdad? Teníamos que resolver estas preguntas. For a cold, what can you do for a cold? For a cold, what is a home remedy? And also for headache, for insomnia. So you have to choose the correct answer in this part. And that is the midterm. Y ese es el examen del medio curso. The midterm. So do you have any question? Do you have any question about the midterm? Janet, your hand is still up. Do you have any question? No question. No question. Okay, what, what have we learned during these three sections? ¿Qué hemos aprendido durante estas tres secciones? Do you remember? Section number one, for example, what did we study? Month and date. Month and date. Which other thing? Do you remember about the going to? What are your plans for the next weekend? Ordinal number. Ordinal numbers too. So what are your plans for the next weekend using the going to? Ah, I use the going to. What are you going to do on the weekend? And you say, I am going to. I am going to create memory. So in the section number two, we study the body parts and also some illnesses, las enfermedades más comunes, and how to use the Bear hub, right? To say the illnesses. I have a sore throat, I have a headache, I have a flu, and I have a backache. And in, in section number three, we have learned uh, city places, uh, how to give direction, and also preposition of place, right? Okay, so that is the class for today. Do you have any question? No, no question. Ok, excelente. So, let's see. Solo recordarles, por favor, ¿verdad? que continuemos trabajando en los ejercicios de la plataforma. Ya puede comenzar con la sección 4. Si no ha hecho todavía el examen de midterm, the midterm exam, please do it, right? Tomorrow we won't have classes. No vamos a tener clases el día de mañana. Until Monday. Hasta el próximo lunes.
So you can use the time, right? You can use that time to complete the exercises on the platform. Please, it's important, right? Es importante. Tiene que llegar por lo menos al 80% para que pueda ver su diploma. Para que ya pueda ir viendo su diploma en la plataforma. Si no hay más preguntas, solo desearles un buen fin de semana. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Friday, your Saturday, and your Sunday. And see you on Monday. So, ya pueden ir a ver la selecta. Ahora sí, del de de volumen al tele. It has been a pleasure to meet you today, guys. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. It's in, it's sleep well. Sweet dreams. Bye bye. Bye, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Carlos. Bye bye. Bye.